adrenal disorder. After having what feels like the worst sleep of your entire life, you wake up feeling like you've aged overnight. You have really dark patches all over your skin, and they just look worse all of a sudden. And as you stand up from bed to go to use the bathroom, you literally collapse on the floor out of exhaustion. You wake up in a hospital room, and the doctor tells you that you have a condition called adrenal disorder. It is literally a situation where your body's stress handling team decides to either stop working or work overtime. It's like you're in Colonel SpongeBob and Patrick suddenly forgot how to flip Krabby Patties. The adrenal glands are these tiny glands that sit on top of your kidneys, and they basically pump out essential hormones that help manage your stress level, regulate blood sugar, and keep your energy levels up. So, when these machines malfunction and produce too much or too little essential hormones, it causes a glitch in the system that would cause a lot of problems for you. There are different kinds of adrenal disorders, so the symptoms you'll experience will depend on the type you have. So, if your adrenal glands aren't producing enough hormones, you'll be in adrenal insufficiency, which leads to low sugar levels and excess fatigue and muscle weakness. You'll feel more tired than a sloth on sleeping pills and have an insane craving for salt, like you're a pretzel in training. The worst would be the crazy mood swings that would literally make a roller coaster jealous. On the other hand, if your adrenals are in overdrive, you'll have a dramatic increase in body weight, crazy highs and crushing lows, and a constant spike in blood pressure. However, the good news is that the condition can be easily treated with medications that can help control the excessive production of hormones or fix the underproduction of hormones. Polycystic Ovary Syndrome, PCOS. It's a few days before your wedding, so you head to the esthetician to get all your girly treatments, hair, nails, and lashes. But while you were waxing, your esthetician advises you to visit the doctor because she noticed a lot of bumps and skin tags around your neck, armpits, and bra line area. After a series of tests, the doctor tells you that you have PCOS, and those weird thick lumps are just one of the many symptoms. You see, PCOS is a disorder that would practically ruin the perfect flow and release of eggs from your ovaries. Think of your ovaries as these little factories that spit out eggs and feminine hormones like estrogen and progesterone. In PCOS, instead of producing eggs, your ovary is clouded with multiple small cysts and follicles. There would also be an overproduction of the male hormone called androgen. This is normally caused when your body cannot handle its insulin, and this resistance causes a shift to your hormones. Everything combined throws a wrench in your reproductive plans. Normally, your period is supposed to show up once a month, but with PCOS, it might disappear entirely or take long intervals before it shows, which means getting pregnant would be a really difficult task. Aside from the tiny boils appearing all over your genitals, you'd also start looking like a Chewbacca because because you'd also start to grow facial hair and gain weight uncontrollably. While living with PCOS can be mentally and emotionally exhausting, the right diet, exercise, and medication can help you live a healthy, regular life. Endometriosis. It's another twelfth of the month, and you can already tell it's going to be a very bad day. This is because your monthly flow always comes with cramps that would feel like someone is twisting your intestines and trying to escape through your belly button with a rusty corkscrew. The pain and discomfort you feel is nothing nothing short of excruciating, and everybody around knows to steer clear of you during this period. What you are experiencing is a condition known as endometriosis, and about 190 million women worldwide go through this every month. Normally, your body is genetically wired to prepare for the arrival of a baby every month by building up the lining of your womb. However, if there are no sperm to fertilize the eggs, the lining sheds, and everything would leave your body as your monthly period flows. But this is when the real problem starts for someone with endometriosis. The lining would literally stage a protest and sometimes attach themselves to a part of your stomach where it totally doesn't belong. Sometimes it'll move to your ovaries, your fallopian tubes, and even your intestines. This misplaced tissue would then get inflamed inside your stomach and cause scar tissues to fork everywhere, which would inevitably bring a truckload of pain. Just imagine an open injury inside your ovary, fallopian tube, or pelvis. This would seriously make life a living hell because your sex life, monthly flow, and even the ability to sleep comfortably would become a thing of the past. You'd always feel tired, bloated, and miserable. Why this condition happens still remains a mystery in the scientific world, but medications and treatment can help you manage the pain. Sometimes, surgery is the best way to tell that rebellious tissue to pack up and leave for good. Hypothyroidism. It's been six months of back-to-back -back 
gymming and trying to get your body right, but it looks like all your efforts are handing you an Uno reverse card. Instead of looking like Wonder Woman, you look like Shrek. You're gaining weight faster than a sumo wrestler, you're constantly exhausted, and your hair keeps falling out as if you were using hair removal cream instead of shampoo. When you walk, you can swear that the snail by the curb walks faster than you. Unfortunately, this is just the starter pack for the sluggish adventure known as hypothyroidism. This condition starts when the tiny butterfly-shaped organ behind your neck, known as the thyroid gland, literally becomes inactive, and this can be caused by a lot of reasons. Now, the function of this thyroid gland is to produce the hormones that regulate your metabolism, energy levels, and even your mood. So when they are literally non-existent, you'd feel like a 100-year-old woman trapped in the body of a 20-year-old. Your skin would become extremely dry and scaly, and you'd gain weight like someone who signed up for a food-eating contest. You'd also be so cold and dry that you would literally feel like you've been twisted and folded into a cold freezer. Your joints and muscles would constantly hurt, no matter how many visits you take to the chiropractor. This condition affects about 5% of adult women in the U.S. alone. However, you can get back to your normal, energetic self if you take a daily dose dose of levothyroxine, which replaces the missing thyroid hormone. Hyperthyroidism. You've been a chubby kid all your life, but one day you wake up one morning and your jean pants are literally falling off your waist. Suddenly, you've gone from being a plus-size model to a Victoria's Secret model with no exercise or diet plans. Aside from the inexplicable weight loss, you've also turned into a bunch of nerves and anxiety. Your heart is literally always racing like a Formula One car jumping from one worry to another. What you're experiencing is a condition known as hyperthyroidism, which happens when your thyroid gland becomes an overly enthusiastic worker. Instead of producing the normal amount of hormones your body needs, the thyroid gland produces more hormones to keep three full-grown adult females alive. This overproduction would throw your body into a frenzy, and the first sign of this condition is weight loss. So even though you eat four extra-large pizzas, two hiking-sized burgers, and a whole bucket of crispy chicken wings, you won't gain a single pound. To some people, this might sound like a blessing, but hyperthyroidism would leave you with very bad tremors and shakes that it'd feel like there's a supercharged vibrator just stuck inside your body. The worst part is you'll always be sweating. You could literally be in Antarctica and still be standing in a pool of your sweat. In severe cases, hypothyroidism can lead to a high blood sugar, diabetes, and thyroid eye disease, which would leave you with watery, bulging eyes and swollen lids. Treatment normally include surgery to remove part of your thyroid or medications to slow down the thyroid hormone production. Premenstrual syndrome. PMS. You've been standing outside your favorite ice cream stand for the last hour because you're desperately craving the chocolate caramel ice cream with cookies on top. Now it's finally your turn, but the sight of the ice cream literally makes you feel like throwing up and now all you want is Chinese food. This sudden change in appetite is also happening with your mood and emotions. For the past week, you've been switching from super excited to super sad, like the switch that controls emotions in your brain suddenly became faulty. One minute you're dancing and laughing like someone who just won the lottery, and the next you're curled up in a ball crying hysterically about your pet hamster that died when you were nine years old. This mess of your hormones is literally caused by a condition called premenstrual syndrome, PMS. The hormonal tango always starts when you're about to expect your monthly visitor because the estrogen and progesterone that are supposed to help you during your period decides that they want a vacation. You'll be left with a bag full of emotions and physical trauma to the point that even the voice of your partner would irritate the hell out of you. Hell, even the sound of your doors opening and closing constantly would literally make you consider killing the person. You'd also experience bloating, swollen feet, head, and back aches that would leave you feeling like you've been carrying bags of cement all your life. Paramenopause. On the eve of your 40th birthday, you're happy as you get older and wiser. However, what you don't realize is that your body is about to go through premenopause, which is basically your body's way of saying, hey, remember puberty? Let's do that again, but in reverse. It is the pre-party before the grand event of menopause. During this time, your ovaries are still active and producing hormones like estrogen and progesterone, but they might start to throw some curveballs. Your ovaries are like a party hall filled with eggs, but during perimenopause, the eggs start to deflate and the party atmosphere gets a little weird. Your hormone levels would fluctuate like a faulty disco ball and you'd start to experience serious memory loss. Your periods might start to play tricks on you and they could become irregular, shorter, longer, lighter, or heavier. It's like your menstrual cycle decided to become a stand-up comedian with
with unpredictable punchlines. Occasionally, you might experience intense hot flashes that make you feel like you're suddenly in a sauna. Your body would also decide it's time to store fat like a bear in hibernation, and you'd also likely develop insomnia. Luteal phase defect. It's been a year since you've been trying to conceive, and no matter how much you try to calculate your menstruation cycle to get the perfect time for sex, every month your hopes are crushed as the pregnancy test reads negative. After countless trips to the doctor, he confirms you have a luteal phase defect, and difficulty in getting pregnant is just one of its many symptoms. You see, LFD basically ruins your baby-making plans by disrupting your menstrual cycle. Think of your menstrual cycle as a two-part series. The first part is the follicular stage, which basically preps your eggs for release. Then comes the luteal stage, which is basically the next 14 to 16 days. This period essentially prepares your womb for the arrival of a baby by turning it into a super comfy nest that is perfect for fertilized eggs to stay. However, in LFD, it's like someone messed with the timer and the open house closes too early, which means your womb won't have enough time to prepare for the arrival of the eggs. So any fertilized egg that comes would not be comfortable and that unfortunately leads to a miscarriage. Sometimes even getting pregnant at all feels like tackling an obstacle course. But you don't have to panic because this condition can be managed and treated with a progesterone boost. Menopause. You know how sometimes after a race everyone gets a medal for simply participating? Well, menopause is like the medal women get at the end of their childbearing and monthly bleeding race. It's basically the biological retirement party for your ovaries. It's like saying, congratulations, you're done with bothering about tampons and wing pads. However, this new phase of your life will leave you feeling nothing like a champion because you will literally become an emotional mess. You would barely recognize the woman you're gradually becoming because everything feels different and annoying. Suddenly, you're your own personal microwave and would experience hot flashes over the face, neck, and chest. You'd also experience hair loss and very dry skin. Menopause also comes with a complimentary emotional roller coaster. You might find yourself laughing one minute and crying the next, all because someone ate the last cookie. It's like puberty decided to make a comeback tour, but this time with wrinkles and reading glasses. You wouldn't be able to sleep and would experience periods of very uncomfortable night sweats even if the air conditioner was on the highest setting. However, menopause is not a disease, but a rite of passage, and although it comes with some uncomfortable side effects, it also means no more periods, no more PMS, and no more worries about unexpected pregnancies. Plus, your symptoms can be managed with hormone replacement therapy, HRT, which would simply replace the hormones your body isn't making much of anymore. Hormonal imbalance is a major problem that affects the well-being of tons of women worldwide, and the best thing you can do is join our Discord server so you stay up to date on everything you need to know to tackle these problems. Acromegaly. After months of wedding planning and preparation, the D-Day is finally here and you can't wait to get married to the love of your life. Only, there's one problem. Your feet cannot fit into the beautiful white heels you just bought last week. Well, you wouldn't let that spoil your big day, so you get an alternative. But now at the altar, your wedding ring can't fit your fingers anymore because your fingers are suddenly looking like overstuffed sausages. Well, this sudden enlargement that makes you look like a water balloon is a disorder known as acromegaly, which is caused by growth hormones. Here's the thing. Our body is like a well-oiled machine that is constantly being maintained by tiny little workers known as hormones. However, in acromegaly, one of these workers, called growth hormone, gets ambushed by tiny tumors. It's like a hostile takeover, but instead of a company, it's your body. This throws everything into chaos because the tumor would take over the work of the growth hormone and just keep sending wrong signals to the rest of your body parts, even when you've gotten to your maximum size. This would cause your body to have a lot of disfigured parts, which leads to severe strain and muscle aches. Your voice would also become thicker and hoarser like someone who's been chewing gravel for the last six months. You'd also go through extreme facial changes like enlarged jaw, brow bones, nose, and thickened lips. It'll literally feel like your body is putting you through the worst plastic surgery experience without your consent. And as if that's not enough, you'll also be sweating like a goat on its way to the slaughterhouse so there'll be an increase in body odor. These symptoms do not appear all at once, so it happens gradually, but luckily you can fix this condition by getting rid of the tumor through surgery or 
radiation therapy. Gestational diabetes. You're pregnant with your first baby, and you and your husband are over the moon with excitement. You've picked out baby names, clothes, toys, and you're ready to embrace every moment of your pregnancy journey. But overnight, you've developed a very unhealthy love of sugar. Like you are literally ready to eat ice cream and chocolate chips for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, while cravings are very normal for pregnant women, your excessive love for sugar is actually because your pancreas has decided to take an extended vacation so your body can't break down insulin anymore. This condition is what causes gestational diabetes, which is a type of diabetes that develops during pregnancy. Now, when we eat, the food gets broken down into sugar, and this little pickup truck called insulin takes up all this sugar, delivering it to different cells. But during pregnancy, your placenta makes chemicals that stop your body from using insulin well, causing your blood sugar level to skyrocket. It's like your placenta decided to play traffic cop and halt all the insulin trucks. Gestational diabetes might hide behind typical pregnancy symptoms like being thirsty every two seconds and wanting to pee immediately after. However, this type of diabetes can increase the size of your baby's body, pumping the brakes on your plans for a regular vaginal birth. Imagine trying to fit a basketball through the hoop meant for a tennis ball. Out of every pregnancy, about 10% are affected by gestational diabetes, and if you're overweight or have a family history of diabetes, then you might not escape this. Don't panic, though, because the condition is totally manageable and you'd literally snap back to your regular size after childbirth. It's like your pancreas suddenly remembers how to do its job. Thank <laughs> you.